Here we have some packaging material made out of starch instead of the usual styrofoam. Styrofoam is not biodegradable where starch is. We are putting some of the starch pellets into a beaker of water. The beaker of water is holding warm water. And we have a stir bar at the bottom, magnetic stir bar at the bottom. We want to dissolve the starch material into the water. The fastest way to do that is to make sure the water is warm because whenever a liquid is, has a higher temperature, the solubility of that liquid becomes greater. So that's why we're doing it. And I'm using a stir rod because the a magnetic stir bar is not good by itself, so that's why I'm using a stirring rod. Here's a bottle of Lugol's iodine solution. We're going to put some of that Lugol's iodine solution into the bag. The bag has water in it. The, we're going to put enough iodine solution so that the water turns a darkish yellowish to a slightly light brown uh, in color. Uh, you can't have too little because this experiment won't work or this demonstration won't work with too little of iodine. And you don't want to use too much because too much is going to be a waste. We're going to seal up the plastic Ziploc bag. And when we do that, we're going to notice that it doesn't look like any of the water or iodine can pass through the plastic material. It doesn't seem to be leaking or anything like that. But what we're going to do is place the whole bag into a beaker of that starch water that we made earlier. The bag is now in the beaker and we see a dark bluish purplish color forming on the surface of the bag and that same color is now going into the starch water. What's happening is the iodine particles are small enough to fit through the small spaces that are between the plastic in the bag. The starch turns that bluish purplish color in the presence of iodine. So it shows the iodine is diffusing from the inside of the bag, area of higher concentration, passed through the plastic into an area of lower concentration in the starch water. And you see the bag is out now and you see that starch is on the outside of the bag. It's purplish in color. And you can see the beaker also is now full of iodine because the starch has turned that bluish purplish color.